So we have Chris doing the Yoshi. What color is he going to pick? He usually goes with neutral. I Chris, thought case I <laughs> wanted him to pick a color. I'm so mad. That's okay. <laughs> so we're going on to Smashville. Like we're saying, it's going to happen quite frequently here. But Chris, a really for really formidable uh, Yoshi player, and Kasev, uh doesn't always feel super comfortable against Yoshi. He has lost against Regrault. I believe he's lost to Chris before, if I'm not mistaken. In fact, I think he did lose to him at GGSS one time. Whoop. Yeah, Chris has taken a set off Kasev previously. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, see. Yoshi loves getting those trades because all of Yoshi's aerials do a ton of damage. Yep. So he can just kind of throw out the nair, throw out the uh, the up air and stuff like that. Ooh, nice pivot grab. Ooh. Yep. Oh, that was a great wait on the air dodge. And Kasev's head a little bit right now. Here's uh, here's an opportunity though, and whenever Kasev gets an opportunity, he always makes the most of it. Yeah, I, w whether it's damage wise or positional wise, he always like he always gets something out of it. Ooh. There's a UFO in the background. That's kind of rare. Oh Ooh. my god, the down B. Yeah, Yoshi's down B hitbox kind of scoops you up. It's way bigger than it looks. Yeah, it does. I was actually playing friendly with Meat Beef earlier, and uh, he was able to down B Bayonetta's side B on the ground. Oh, wow. Like, he could just down B her out That's of nasty. it. Whoop. Chris kind of, Chris is like, he's playing really good right now. Yeah, um, actually unfortunate for him that they were on the platform because that ruined any chance of a throw follow-up, except maybe back air, down throw back air. Chris wasn't aware of it, or maybe he was, but he didn't know what to do. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, almost gets the throw there. <laughs> Just skidding around. Ooh, he wanted to be reverse that egg, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, nice nair to dash attack. Can he get any more off of it? No, Fox's fall speed is so fast. He just kind of sneaks by there. Gets a forward air. I find it interesting how often we're finding these players at the exact same percents. Yeah, seriously. Or, you know, at least relatively close. But this time, Kesa pulling a pretty hefty lead above four, or almost 40% up smash. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> One down air is all it takes. One it little down air. That's a big down air. Well, yeah, you know, actually, actually, Yoshi's down air is gigantic. <laughs> Anything about it? Kit, yeah. uh, Fox is a lot smaller. One opportunity, one falling down air. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first and second seed of the pool. I can't imagine Chris being. Uh, oh, I've got to imagine this seed, first, but, second seed in the pool. You know, Case have definitely a first seed, 100%. We're moving on to Battlefield. This is a great counter pick for Yoshi. Oh yeah, it definitely is because, okay, Yoshi is very, very aerial character. Yes. Um, his aerials are like really safe. His aerial frame data is just fantastic in general. His air dodge is great. His aerial movement is great. His fall speed is great for the moves he has. His double jump has oh super armor. Oh my gosh. So platforms are gonna help him but they seem to be helping Kesa yeah, they are. more right now, actually. Ooh, okay. Okay, Kesa have getting a little greedy. But yeah, Yoshi's like ground moves consist of, oh my gosh. Yoshi's ground moves consist of like jab. And then that sets up into other ground moves. But that's the only thing that really starts anything is like the jab. Up smash. Nope, he didn't get the jump cancel that he wanted. Jump cancel, up smash, by the way. Uh, if you see Kesa slide a little bit further, uh, then he's like, he's basically pressing jump right before he up smashes, and that'll give you a little bit more distance on, mm -hmm. the, on the up smash. Oh, there it is, the forward smash covering quite a bit of options there that Chris had. Yeah, whenever you up smash out of shield, that's a jump canceled up smash. Yeah. Up smash out of shield, actually underutilized in my opinion. Yeah, with Fox, oh for sure. With almost everyone, I don't, I don't see most no one do it. If someone dash attacks your shield, you just like you, like, you probably could have got one there. Like, because <laughs> yeah. you skip the shield drop animation. You yeah, just, you, you do. Just do your up smash. It's pretty safe. So sometimes it hits people mid attack. Up smash. Yep. Double jab, up smash. That was a great setup from Case of. He, oh, like, nice egg. He 
so aware of like you know how heavy Yoshi is. Oh my Ooh. god, Chris, please calm down. Ow. That's all I have to say. Like What I hurt your ears? I mean <laughs> no. Okay. Ow like Ow, I felt that. that. Yeah. I felt that personally. KSF got scared. He got real scared. Because he saw him charging up smash and then he <laughs> chose the air dodge. And he got destroyed. So Chris back in it after uh, being down quite a bit. Ooh, near the dash tag again. <gasps> footstool. Oh, <laughs> he gets footstool himself. Footstool himself. The KIFC? <laughs> what is that? What's the I? Well, no, it'd be KGFC. KSF gets footstool combo. <laughs> Case having a really advantageous, I mean, uh, Chris in an advantageous position, up tilt. <sighs> yeah. uh, that was great spacing by Chris, using the aerial mobility that Yoshi has to get out of the way of the up air, real smart. Yeah, Yoshi's kind of hard to trap in the air because of uh, not only the super armor and his double jump, but also oh, another one. The his just insane aerial mobility and his uh, ability to act out of air dodge very quickly. Yeah, exactly. Chris overcommits. And uh, Queso capitalizes.